Hello YouTubers, welcome back. More Dwarf Fortress. The distance between the two recordings is so short that I didn't even bother pausing the game. Let's get back into the action, shall we? Okay, so... Oh, Thief! Protect the Horde from the Skulking Filth. I would, but I think my traps are going to do that. So, yeah. Let's wait and see if one gets uh, triggered. Where's this thief? Come on. Make a go of it. Try and get in here. Oh, someone's experiencing emotional distress. Why are they experiencing emotional distress? They've probably discovered a corpse of one of their friends, to be honest. Oh yeah, we need to place more coffins, don't we? Um, oh no, we need to designate these for burial, that's it. B, 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 B. There we go. Nice. They're still bringing armour down from the prisoners. That's insane. And why are they putting it all in these little blocks on top of the rhyolite? Oh my god, there's tons of it. Okay, um... Uh, D, B, C... There we go. That's all that claimed back. Holy shit, I mean, look at how much stuff there is on here. It's just stacks of stuff. Huh. Hopefully they'll come down to collect it now and it can go into our uh, stockpiles. Although I probably should have designated... Pardon me, most of the armour for melting down into bars. That would have made more sense. Oh well. Next time, next time I think about it. We appear to have picked up quite a bit, actually. Ah, dear. We've got beds, we've got wheelbarrows, lots and lots of wheelbarrows. How many uh, stockpiles have we got that can actually have wheelbarrows assigned? There's a question. Are there any wheelbarrows here? I see some being used, but not a lot. Bins are starting to get used, which is good. They save a lot of space. Oh, a bro the broker's been taken by a fey mood. Okay, let's see what he's gonna uh, what he's gonna claim. Here he comes, running through the corridor. Let's follow him. Okay, he's not not going up there. Oh, I don't care if a farmer's given birth to a girl up here. Why have you given birth to a girl up here near the top of the volcano? Surely that's pretty dangerous. Okay, where's our guy? We've got to presume he's heading towards the crafts area, right? If he's not, he's heading towards the magma forges, which means he's going to make something super cool. If he has the materials to hand, of course. Looks like we've got a lot of uh, armour lying around here. What's, what's all this jizz jazz? Troll leather shoe. Fur... Is this the armor stockpile? Zinc goblet? Loincloth? Finished goods bin? Bar block bin? I've definitely got a weapon stockpile somewhere. Weapons and armor. Armor bin. There we go. What we got in here? Copper shield. Let's melt a lot of it. Uh, M. Oh. Apparently you can't do that. Chicken blood covering. It's a copper buckler covered in... Um, Oh, no, a, a copper shield covered in chicken blood. Oh, I already had it designated for melting. Damn a vu. Okay, well, we'll come back to this later on. At least it's only taking up one bin. Another berth! Good grief! Okay, he's claimed a craft dwarf's workshop. That's a good news. And he's going to get items. That's good as well. Okay, let's keep watching him and see what happens. Hopefully, he'll craft something of note. Fingers crossed. Goodness knows what he's gone to collect, because he's uh, got stone nearby. And wood. And gems. And pretty much everything stored around here, actually. No. Anyone coming? Have we run out of bins? Looks like we might have run out of bins. They're placing armour just randomly. 
Is that how this works? No. No, we've not run out of bins. Oh, someone's been interrupted by a wolverine. Schnicked. Oh, do thieves not get caught by tra traps? Hmm. A drawbridge directly below the trade depot. Hang on a minute. <clears throat> Let's, uh... Oh, here he comes. Let's check what he's doing. He's got bones. Oh. Okay, we're gonna... Oh, has he gone back to it? Okay, he's making short trips now. He's putting gems in. More gems? Jeez, calm down with the gems. And a block. Oh, a caravan from Arktanish has arrived. The wagons bypassed my inaccessible site. Excuse me? Holy shit. Why is the depot inaccessible? Traps. 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 Uh, cage trap. Remove building. Remove building. Remove building. Okay. Come on. Get these out of the way. Somebody shift them. Oh, actually. And... Uh, don't construct them. Cool. Come on. He's begun his mysterious construction. That's all well and good, but I don't really care about it until he's actually built it. Guys. Guys, can we get these cage traps taken out so the traders don't piss off too soon? Where are they? No? You're not going to get rid of the cage traps? Damn. What's this? Iron bolt. Okay. <laughs> Single iron bolt. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Discussing situations. The latest news from Tomb Dances is that a few months ago the site was conquered by the Frigid Terrors. A few months ago, Bombrek Goldswan became the mayor of the Fair Bell, replacing her paternal grandfather, 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 Thob Whimsy Syrups. Whim Syrups? Whim Syrups. A few months ago, Nomal Lance Teacher became mayor of the Pick of Tenacity, replacing Oseem Practice Dawn. That's great, thank you. Please stop it. What do I need? I want, uh, not leather, um, I would quite like some clay, uh, I would quite like, uh, yarn, <laughs> I would, oh, quite like, uh, <laughs> other stuff, seeds? Seeds. Got seeds? No. Yes, seeds. Here we go. Uh, I want all the seeds. Loads of seeds. Give me the seeds. They're always handy. Okay, so what else we got? Uh, metal bars? You know what? I could do with some metal bars. We can't smelt our own uh, stuff, but we can build with the stuff we can get. So, let's have... Fuck it, let's go for gold, silver, copper, let's put them all up full whack so we see what turns up next time. Here it comes. Economic ruin as we spend all our money on metals. There we go. I'm also going to want cut, uncut gems as well, I think. Is that in there? Is that an option? Gems, gems, miscellaneous, glass, sand. It seems like gems are not an option. That's a shame. Oh, sorry, I just bashed the uh, microphone. Many apologies. Oh, hang on, it's, is it under stone? It is, isn't it? I bet it is. Kimberlite. Copper nuggets. Pudding stone? What the hell is pudding stone? Uh, no, it looks like it's just stones in here. Not actual gemstones. Huh. 
Huh. Oh, here we go. Small cut gems. I don't want cut gems. I want uncut gems. Why can't I get uncut gems? Oh, well, maybe they don't sell them. Oh, that'll do. There you go. And let's look over the documents. That's great. Thank you. Now go away. I want to get these traps decommissioned so you actually don't piss off and not trade. Ah, oh, steel anvils. Yeah, I should have said that. Yeah. Rough gems are not available for import. No, oh, okay. It's very good. Whoa, what's this? Bypass the site, my ass. Trader requested. Right, let's move some goods. What are these, humans or dwarves? Well, if they're dwarves or humans, they're going to be getting some spiked metal or wooden balls. Uh, goods. Okay, so let's find our balls. Excuse me. Pardon me. I suppose we could sell some wheelbarrows if we really wanted to. Excuse me. Hang on a minute. Can we sell the goblins? No. Uh, buckets, barrels, quivers, backpacks, bags, 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 ropes, splints, crutches. Damn it. Is it under trap components? Presumably... Can I have a look? V, view good. Oh, here we go. Right, yep, yep, yep. So you want... Oh, come on. Can, let me designate specific things. Can I not send stuff? I can just send the whole bin, which has maces in, which I don't want to get rid of. Ah. The issue with bins. Mind you... Oh, we've also got picks and spears and battle axes. Why are they in a weapon bin? Damn it. What else can we send? Finished goods bin? I don't even know what's in these things. Zinc goblets. Okay. So that can go in. Uh, what's in here? V. Pigtail shoes, zinc goblets. Diorite crown. Oops, a daisy. Uh, let's do that again. Rhyolite crown. Bobcat leather trousers. Dingo leather vest. Zinc goblet. Okay, that can go in. very annoyed that we can't put these balls in separately. I don't want to put my balls in with everything else. I want them kept separate and special. Silver pike? S silver whip? No, we're not getting rid of any of this stuff. Come on, why can't I put you there? Uh, dump, hide, forbid. <sighs> okay, we'll see what we can do with that chest full of zinc mugs and then we'll have to sort our uh, stockpiles out otherwise we're going to end up with all sorts of problems have to haul the whole bin but you can sell individual items on the trade screen damn it you're goddamn right I forgot about that G so in that case a uh, couple of finished goods bins uh, where did I put the food ah hang on a minute we're going to have some uh, excellent meals, aren't we? So, if we say, is it plants, fruit and nuts? Garden vegetables, seeds, digging implements, weapons. Uh, 
I think that's going to be everything, right? That should be everything. Good. Done. Okay, let's hope the broker gets... The oh, the broker's in the middle of a fey mood! Come on, finish building your doodad, whatever it is. Obol Razotan works furiously. That's it, get your furious work on. Hey, there we go. Obol Razotan broker has created Neshat Zototod, an armadillo bone statue of Onol City Picks. Ooh, let's have a look. Here it is. The Risky Judge. Ooh. This is an armadillo bone statue of Onol City Picks. All Crafts Dwarfship is of the highest quality. The item is a masterfully designed image of Onel City Picks the Dwarf and Dwarves in Armadillo Bone by Ubul Razatum. Onel City Picks, is, City Picks is surrounded by the Dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of the Dwarf Onel City Picks to the position of King of the Strategic Trade in 17. It is decorated with Armadillo Bone and encircled with bands of baguette cut honey yellow barrels and round rhyolite cabochons. This object menaces with spikes of cave spider silk, honey yellow barrels, and phyllite. On the item is an image of a Menum Rooted Tomes, the Dwarf and Dwarves in Firelight. Monum Rooted Tomes is surrounded by the Dwarves. The artwork relates to the ascension of the Dwarf Monum Rooted Tomes to the position of the King of the Strategic Trade in 324. On the item is an image of a Cave Wheat in Rhyolite. So, the ascension of two kings of the uh, Strategic Trade. The items are getting more elaborate as we go. Okay, so, uh, does that mean the Broker can now get down here? Come on, Brokey. You can do it. I know you're tired from doing all your, uh, you know, legendary Fey mood shit, but, you know, you've got a real job. A day job. And now is time to enact that day job. You in there already? No, not yet. I have requested them, yeah? Okay. Come on, Broker. Do this thing. Where are you? Come on! I was gonna build a um I was gonna build a tavern out here, wasn't I? I might do that. I'll put it on this side of the river. Anyway, uh is our trader there yet? No. That looks like someone went in there. Not the broker though. Come on, broker. Was that the broker? That was the broker, here we go. Trade. Okay, so what do we got? in here. Spiked mahogany balls. Was that it? We've only got one of our bins in here. Well, fair enough. So, what do we need? Well, we need yarn. Oh, we did need yarn, didn't we? We don't need it anymore. Um... to do. They've got a lot of cloth. Let's do page down. Uh, we don't really need that anymore. Although we could start making some clothes. Uh, cave spider silk, skunk leather. Hmm. Cloth bins, cloth bins. Did we tell them we needed cloth last time? Uh, let's do a search and we'll look for cages. What have we got caged? A duck. A duck. A female duck, but we don't have any male ducks, so what use is that to me? Uh, let's clear the search. Damn it. Cancel. There we go. Let's cancel the search. Okay, right now, what next? Uh, we should probably have some yarn and soft, uh, silk at hand. Plant cloth, rather. Mm, an arm dildo bone. <laughs> I think it's more of an armadillo bone, but sure, yeah. I mean, we could call it an arm dildo bone. Why not? Oh, we asked them for loads of uh, ores last time, didn't we? And they brought them, but they're not particularly cheap. Uh, what else do we need? Cloth. So let's go down a few pages because I know there's cloth bins. Uh, cave spider silk cloth. We don't want that. Sheep wool cloth. We'll have that. And I would also like pigtail cloth. 
That's good. You're still making a buttload of profits, so we'll keep looking down here and see what we find. Cloth, leather, cloth, cloth. Cave fish, cave lobster. We could grab some cave lobster. It's not like we need extra food, though, is it? Hmm. Pardon me. Too much fizz. Capuchin leather? How much bloody leather can you get off a capuchin monkey? I would imagine not a lot. They're pretty small. Cassowary leather. Tomatoes, cranberries, passion fruits, amaranth leaves, artichoke hearts, onions. We could grow onions. Hmm. That's true. They might have thread. We'll have to look for that though. Native Silverbound Codex. Ooh, we haven't made any books yet. That's still something that needs to be done. Okay, so it's looking like uh, they haven't got any yarn, but we'll have a quick look. Um, Q Y A R. Ah, sheep wool yarn. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Okay, how much profit are they getting for that? One thousand six hundred thirty-eight. I don't think so, Sunshine. Uh, let's lose that and that. 504 profit? Shit, that sounds like a lot. Um, what else can we take to even it out a bit? Um, a clear glass Ezuk. Oh god, it's a grand. Why would I want that? Uh, next time when we've sorted out our uh, mahogany ball situation a bit better, we'll, uh, we'll rinse them for iron and steel. But for now... We'll just have to make do with what we've got. Do I want an alpaca wool cloth bin? That's it. Now that looks like it more like it. They're making 244 trade. It's all good. Are you sure you want to trade the selected goods? Yes. The following fortress goods were added for the counter offer. Another spiked candle knot ball and a copper bow. Uh, you are not having the copper bow. Uh, how about that? Ah, wonderful. Thank you for your business. You're welcome. Now get out of my fort before I kill you all. Oh, sorry. I must uh, lost my uh, hospitality <laughs> there. Hmm. They still came over the traps, though, which is interesting. Didn't need to remove them after all. Oh, well. We don't have any clay for uh, making pots with, which is unfortunate, but uh, it's the way of the world these days. Clay is in short supply. Right, have we still got corpses in our corpse stockpile? We bloody well have as well. Come on. We filled all the graves already. Okay, B, N, uh, we'll start placing them here. Okay, hopefully that'll be enough to soak up the overflow. Uh, D, B, C. Let's quickly just make sure we've got everything out of there. Carts can't plaster traps, but haul animals can. Do I have gypsum plaster? I don't think I do. I don't think we have any gypsum plaster. I don't think we've got any plaster at all of any kind. Actually, can we move our goods to and from the trade depot now? Right. Is that good? Is that all going back now or what? I don't know. We've got four idlers though, so it looks like... Oh, here they come. Look, they're actually collecting all our stuff. Ah, uh, there's probably shitloads of stuff still lying in there from previous trade routes as well. This is good stuff. Yes, the goods move. Holy shit, we've still got someone trapped in here. What's in there? Is there actually someone in this cage trap? No, it's just not loaded properly. Oh, or it had someone standing on it, which made it hard to see. Okay. Okay, placing lots of items. What's that they're carrying around there? Clay? Eggs? Something. Okay. 
So, so far so good. Even though we lost some progress, we also managed to uh, recover from that. I mean, we lost our mooded dwarf, sure, but the fortress seems to be keeping along. Nobody's really dying in mass numbers, so that's good. And uh, every time the goblins come, they are thwarted by our traps, which I think need to be expanded even more because uh, some goblins nearly penetrated last time. I have never collected clay. Nothing like that. I told them to drop everything into the depot. Is that what I did? Hang on. Gee. Okay, is that right? Is that how this works? I think that's right, isn't it? Let's go back to all. Is it all entered to everything? Damn it! <laughs> Why would you do that to me? Here we go, let's just de designate those. Well, they're distance zero, so they clearly need to move. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, I don't know. Page up. Yeah, page up. Okay, looking fairly good. Still nothing. P, pending on top. Well done, me. So all P. Just scroll through everything until, there we go, down. Get rid of that, up one. Get rid of all that. Ah, finally. No, that's not what we wanted. Is that everything? No, that's not everything. No, none of this needs to be traded. What's going on here? Oh my goodness, I've made a right balls up here, haven't I? Every time I go to all, is it just inverting the selection of what's being traded and what's not? Am I being a massive floppy dangus? Up we go, come on, there we go, right. All of this shift enter, move the visible goods. Ah! Ah! Finally figured it out! Oh, there we go. Right, okay. It looks like everything's being moved out, right? Yes, everything's being moved out. Brilliant. Brilliant. Let's resume the game. And everyone suddenly got question marks and exclamation marks because they're not quite sure what they're supposed to be doing. Sell the worn out clothes to keep the fortress clean. Good idea. Good idea. Although, it's getting a bit late now. I might have to come up to that one next time. Ah, so, well, I think that was a fairly productive and eventful session, wasn't it? Uh, I'm going to be calling an end to the stream very soon. Um, but I don't see any reasons to worry or complain here. We've done very well. All good. Okay, well, uh, we do need to still move our uh, prisoners upstairs, but uh, that's okay. We can do that next session. And hopefully, oh, another baby boy. Pardon me. Hopefully things will develop. I think we can do more with our goblins than um, just chucking them in the volcano, but we'll, we'll see how it plays out. If our population gets too high, we can chuck them all in there. And of course, if we stick them in there with the Weir Lizard, there's a potential chance that they'll become um, Weir Creatures themselves, and every time we beat them up, they'll just heal again, ready for another beating. Which will be nice. The Perpetual Beatings. It won't be nice for the Goblins, but um, 
that's not what we're here for, is it? We're not about goblin care. What's going on here? Cancels metal crafting. Gives birth to a boy. Well, that makes sense. If you're going to stop doing something in order to give birth to a child, I would recommend blacksmithing go on that list of things to stop because I've been at the I've been present at the birth of two children both mine and um, I don't think any kind of metal working would have gone down well in that environment it would have been looked upon pretty poorly by those gathered and it would just have got in the way I mean who wants an angle grinder going off when you're trying to push a baby out of your fanny I don't think so and for those Americans laughing thinking I have a, a uh, fundamentally bad idea of uh, biology over here the vajayjay is the fanny, whereas the old uh, pooper, that's not a fanny. Fannies are... I was about to say something that was just wrong, so let's reel that back in. <laughs> reel that back in and uh, wind up the video, shall we? YouTubers, it's been a pleasure. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, hopefully we will take this fortress to great new heights next episode with uh, our massive prison population and all the stuff we've stolen off them. Won't that be lovely? Anyway, thank you for watching. It's been a pleasure, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Ooh, stop recording. There we go.